Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this NFC matchup between the Eagles and the 49ers. This is a game today that could come down to the two running backs, two of the real stars of the sport, two players who went in fantasy drafts really high. How do you see this one going down today? Yeah, and how's your fantasy team? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. No, we won't talk that. about that. Let's yeah. talk about good things. But, you know, these, hey, these two teams are stars. You know why? Because we can see how the football team is built. And I think it is no doubt about it. The offensive line is a big part of it. They always have hope. If they block their guy a little bit, these running backs can make a big play out of it. Colin Kaepernick under center. First and ten. They hand it off to the running back. Has some space to work with. When you have runs like that or big plays and you pick up over 20 yards, that is an explosive play and almost always explosive plays leads to points for the offense. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. And Crabtree, the receiver in the slot. Screen pass. Makes the reception, shakes off the hit. The tackle is made. Well, the defense has got to be happy about this situation. Anytime early in the game you get an offense in third and long, you are looking to make a play and get things rolling on your side. Third down now. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. Wide open for the catch. He's got some daylight. You just can't sit back there and play conservative defense in the NFL. The quarterbacks and receivers are too good. Third and over 10 yards, you play safe and you give up the first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Second down. Flex round, flex round. On, In trouble now. Barwin gets to him for the sack. The offensive coordinator just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback. So either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. The 49ers come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The 49ers in field goal formation. trying kickers out when they go home because they did not expect to miss that field goal. It comes up way short. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Handoff to the pack. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. 
The throw to the left. Jumps high into the sky and has it. Unstoppable. The 10. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. they got to make the catch. That time he did. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Frank Gore is in the backfield. First and 10. They give it to the back, and he's running off tackle. He's tackled at the 28. An off tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle, where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Now they'll try over again on second down. And the give to Frank Gore. They tackle him for a loss. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Offense lines up here. Third and six. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Terrible job that time by the defense. My gosh, you got the offense in third down. You let them throw a screen pass. You can't make the tackle, and you give up the first down. First down following the long play. The give. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down Let's here round, after that run play. Quick drop back. Ah. Escaping the pressure. Taking off. Gains maybe five. That wraps up the first quarter here in San Francisco. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second. We're back here in this low scoring affair. Quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Let's round, let's round. Here we go. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Gains 19. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up the first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. First down here after the completion. Frank Gore gets it here. He's brought to a halt. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time, they just got a short gain. Coming up, second down. Back to the ground. Up the middle. Touchdown, 49ers. Well, that score ties the game up. Now, on the defensive side, you got to come out there and take advantage of this this feeling you got going now, and get the football back for your offense. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. That little wiggle just left the defender standing there. Coopers lined up in the slot. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Incomplete. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, 
then throw it short underneath the defense. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Second and ten. Going across the middle. And a completion this time. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. Third and three, throws to the right. And that's going to be a three and out. Good job that time, Jim, by the defender. He hit that receiver so hard, that football came flying out. That's why it's incomplete, the big hit by the defender. going to get set in the slot for this snap. That catch, good for a first down. You can't always go for it on fourth and short, but I like this call. They make it, the offense executes, and they pick up the first down. They've got a first down now after that catch. The running back goes in motion. This is a screen play all the way. Anytime as a quarterback you see the receiver coming across the field on a drag route, don't lead him, just stick it on him. Quarterback throws it too far in front that time. Second down coming up. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Going to lose yards here. Well, these plays do look ugly, but they don't work. It's, it's second down, and you run the running play, hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier. But when you lose yards like this, Third long, tough to do. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Uh, there's nothing like a play-action pass. When the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. Touchdown, Philadelphia Eagles. There is nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done, and this team definitely has one. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. They're setting up the return. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. First down here. They feed the running back. Five, maybe six out of that. Second and four following the run. Gore. Left side. And D'Amico Ryans makes the tackle. You know, when the linebackers, when they see that the offensive formation is shifted to one side, well, as a linebacker, you've got to play to that strong side and try to get up there and stop the run. in the backfield single back set looking to the right side and throwing Vernon Davis hauls it in I love these timing routes the out route nice job by the wide receiver as he's breaking out towards the sideline that football is right on target two minute warning and here we have second down from the eye, they give it to the deep back. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down.
They're able to move the chains after that last run. They get to him just in time, one yard shy of the first down. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there, and it's good for a few yards and gets him another first down. Bolden's in the slot, first and ten, setting up a little screen. That'll stop the play right there. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. And the give to Frank Gore, swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. The 49ers with an empty backfield look here. And it's out of bounds, incomplete. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield, third and 14. Running away from the pressure. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. time it's still disappointing you get in that position you'd like to score a touchdown <laughs> 49ers setting up for the kickoff that'll be a touchback and the ball will be placed at the 20. Lined up now as a slot receiver. Now first and ten. Throwing now to his left. A takeaway. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. First down on the way. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Hauls it in for the first down. When you see the defensive back on the inside of a wide receiver, you have a corner route on, make sure you throw it towards the sideline, let the wide receiver outrun the defensive back, and he makes a nice catch there. This will probably be the last play of the first half. Eyeing that left side. It's a touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The 49ers for the extra point. Extra point was good. That's a timeout call.
the Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. And he is brought down at the 39. That's the end of the first half, and we'll be back in a moment with the first half analysis. We're back here now in this one, where the 49ers lead by three. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. And they're going to run it right. Running backs, they love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. Second down now. McCoy's handed the football. Wide to the left. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. First down here after the run. Knocked to the deck by Willis. You talk about a blitz on the defensive side. It's all about timing. Disguise it to the last second and time up the snap of the football. They did it that time and they get the sack on the QB. Cooper is a receiver in the slot. Fix looking long, and it falls incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Sean McCoy is in the backfield. The pass is intercepted. Popped up the football. And it's a takeaway. The linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. Quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Impressive piece of running by Gore. Well, the defense, they give him a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. you got to take some chances, go on the offensive, on the defensive side, and just make things happen. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Gore is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Play action, getting away from the pressure. San Francisco, touchdown. Well, the defense does a good job. They get the quarterback to scramble out of the pocket. Then they forget to keep their eyes on it. They all try to cover receivers. The quarterback, what a job, takes off down the field and scores. The 49ers with an extra point try on the way. The point after try is in the books. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. And he's met head on right there at the 20. Michael Vick will be under center. First and 10, Vick's play action. Dante Wittner picks off that pass. What a terrible job by the Steelers. Nobody's open, tries to force the pass, and look, what's it turn into an interception?
First down, offense readying for the snap. Frank Gore gets it here, left side. Impressive piece of running by Gore. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. A tackle behind the line. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Offense lines up here. Second and goal from the 10. Miller's taking the handoff. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. In this game now, it's just so spread out. Everybody is so fast. You just can't avoid it. Concussions are just part of the game, and uh, I hope he's okay. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Scores the touchdown. Well, the defense knew that they were probably going to see a run here in third and goal. And what do they do? They don't, it doesn't matter. They still get blown off the line of scrimmage by the offensive line. Nice job. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. He'll have a chance to take off. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. Face first down. Pick in shotgun formation. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Good timing by the defensive player. That time he gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Go, go. It's now second down out of the shotgun formation. The ball is jarred loose. A recovery by the defense. Runs to daylight for the touchdown. This defense, they have some mindset, don't they? They practice it. Once they get the turnover, they try to take it all the way for the touchdown, and they get it done that time. Count it. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. Fakes out the defender right there on the spot. Eagle, 
On first down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Got a little crease. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good for 21 yards. Find a way to score. That's all we... The mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Here's the first snap after the big play. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Working that left side. And incomplete. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Vic's going to take the snap from the shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. Man, what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. Secures it with two hands. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. The quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Good job that time by the running back, getting down the field and picking up big yards. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. They pounce on him there. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. We're back, and this game has not been close. leads us to second down. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice change up. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short game. 
the defense. Looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. You knew this was going to happen. There's the red flag, and the coach disagrees with the call on the field. Challenging the spot on the field, it's a tricky thing. Yeah, it's really, it has to be an egregious error by the officials if you're going to do this, Jim. There has to be a mark. What is it? Numbers on the field, uh, the five-yard marks that you see, it's got to be very clear. Uh, it's a tough call to have. This will be second down. They'll run with it again. Searching for space to the right. 49ers in the end zone. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. Extra point, the kick is good. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. Quarters formation here for the defense. No one was open. Got to give the defense a lot of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. The 49ers defense now is going to go nickel. Second down and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Forces a three and out. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route, terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shot. It's incomplete. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game. Their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. Davis split out wide on the right. First and ten. Gore. Looking for some daylight up the middle. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second down coming up. And the give to Frank Gore. In the books. Touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. Oh, he actually misses the point after. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Paper, paper, paper. McCoy's lined up in a single back formation. First and 10. 
bounce away from the pressure. And they tackle him there at the 34. That time he's under pressure. Uh, he can't stand in the pocket. He takes off. And as you look down the field, nobody is open. So the quarterback is forced to run, and he picks up some big yards. Justin Smith brings the quarterback down. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback. Run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. They come out in the dime package. Throws to the right. That reception picks up the first down. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. When you talk about throwing the football into open space, that's almost always against zone defenses. That's what we saw that time. Good job by the quarterback throwing it in there. Cooper's lined up in the slot. First and 10. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, and the football falls incomplete. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Looking across the middle, always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired, and when you get tired, you make mistakes. First and ten, looking to the right side and throwing. And that pass is picked by Carlos Rogers. Ball's on the ground. The offense was able to recover the ball. You've got to protect the football on the offensive side. When you don't protect it the way these defensive players can run, you're going to get in trouble, and that time it results in a fumble. That reception gave them the first down. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. That's second down coming up. Running a little college-like option. And that'll be a gain of about two. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short game in the red zone. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Vic in shotgun formation. Looks to his left. Incompletion there. Just not quite able to get the feet down. Jim, that pass ends up incomplete because the defender, he just jarred the football loose with that. hit nice job get that shoulder into the receiver knock that football out and get it to the ground Cooper is going to get set in the slot for this snap throws the pass they fail to convert and now a change of possession situations like this sometimes can cost you the game you're down in the second half why would you go for it on fourth down in this situation? You don't get it, that decision might cost you this football game. They come to the line, and it's first down. Gore is going to take the handoff now. Holds him to seven. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Frank Gore is in the backfield. Got a little screen set up here. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. And Manningham's in the slot. 
into the open flat. Brings it into his body. You don't always have to throw the football past the yard markers. That's another thing I hate to hear. This time, the offense throws it behind the yard markers on the screen pass. Good execution. They pick up a first down. Gore is lined up as the single back. First and ten, Frank Gore gets it here. It's about managing the football game. That's why they ran the football right there. Not a big game, but sometimes you have to be predictable. You have the lead. You're trying to get rid of the clock. you got to run it. Offense lines up here. Second and seven. They'll run it with him again for one. Well, even though they have a lead here, it's late in the fourth quarter, you still got to be unpredictable. Keep the defense on edge. As I always say, make the defense react and not attack. So make them guess what plays you're going to run. Colin Kaepernick will be taking this one from the gun. Vernon Davis hauls it in. And that last play made by Pat Chung. The 49ers call a timeout. They're first. Play number six coming up on this drive. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Vernon Davis hauls it in. In on the stop. That's going to do it. The clock hits zero and this game has come to an end.